everybody and welcome to Paris. I do not own the right to any of the music that is sung or played during this video, nor am I claiming to it. Also, all the images are from Google Images and are claimed by the rightful owners. Thank you. Oh, here we go. I got a top hat this time. Oh, I walk faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, you wasn't joking. I actually do walk faster. See, Rob Robbie has played this because he is a bum boy, as per usual. I, for some reason, can't see that full screen. Oh, let me zoom out. <clears throat> a stone eagle lies on the floor. It appears to have broken off from the fountain. Oh dear. Poor ego. The Angel Gabriel, the school's emblem. I remember it being very pristine. <clears throat> but it looks neglected and dirty now. Aww. Is this a school then? Is this the boarding school they're at now? Where were you? Uh, no secrets. I'm not revealing nothing. This is a genuine playthrough. Okay. But, whoa. <laughs> Something's thumping. Oh, hi. I ain't saying he's a grave digger. Be impressed to win the bro. So you can be the other character. Good evening. I hope you're right about this indeed. Be a good evening. My name is Derrit. I didn't know there was a cemetery here. My pleasure, Mr. Derrit. I'm Frank Baldwin. Don't ask me why. But the mon No, don't make me read this word! Monsignor. Monsignor. I forgot what <laughs> voice I was doing. I forgot what voice I was doing. Oh, I just did a phone blank. Specifically ordered to bury the corpses outside. Hmm. Did he order to bury? Corpses here. Why? I don't understand. What is there to understand, Mr. Devitt? God has forsaken this place. Eh. Don't you know? Here. You take care of patience. Hmm. I'm an old whatever that word is. I used to attend the school. Oh, so much text. <laughs> it's been a long time since this is not a boarding school anymore. What? What? That's not English, is it? It's been a long time since this is not a boarding school anymore. Just me? Maybe just me. The well, we're going to have to fast forward this video because we'll be here forever. The building is now used as a nursing home run by nuns. A former student, eh? I never heard anyone in the village spoke fondly of the school. They said it closed over night, though nobody knows why. Not a lot was known about it. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you with your work. Eh, have a nice evening. Amlib... Alumnus Devitt? Open the door. Door's locked from the oh, in. Locked, why, locked. why is always the side door locked from the inside? All right, and we're back in. Hello, guys. We're back. Sorry about that. The parents came in. So yeah, we're back in the last. Let go. Let go. Let go. Uh, uh. The last door, the last door, and there's a nun at the table. Yeah, pardon, excuse me, sister. <clears throat> Good evening, sister. Good evening, I'm Mother Isabel. What brings you here, mister? Mr. Big Bollocks, <clears throat> damn it. I'm a <laughs> former student of this boarding school. As you can see, Mr. Devitt, this stopped being an academy institution a long time ago and is exclusively dedicated to prayer. 
and and the well-being of the patients under our care. Bonjour, <clears throat> I see. Even so, may I please speak to... No! <laughs> Mr. Devitt, I'm afraid that we are too busy to start wasting time talking about the past issues. In addition, there is little to say. We sisters arrive after the boarding school had closed down. Everybody but Monsieur, of course. Let's go down the a little bit. Yeah. Monsieur? Exactly. But you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mr. Devitt? Ah, bye. <clears throat> Up to you, right? Um, it'll be good for me to appreciate. Mm. It'll be good for me to appreciate the passage of the past. Yeah, that one. I guess that it would be a good idea to visit this place again and perceive the passage of time. Perceive the passage of time? What are you talking about? This place will help me remember my past. If you have memory problems, we would recommend you to visit the doctor immediately. And don't waste your time here. To be honest, I prefer not to talk about it. I couldn't tell you why this place is so important for me, but it is. A lot. Well, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. Devitt. I'll allow you to stay he around here. I hope I won't regret my decision. Don't worry, babe. I mean, mother. Thank you. Why is he walking by himself? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I'm not even controlling him. Let's go for this door. Mr. Devitt, you're not allowed in there. The screen's a little bit too squished. Whatever. You're not missing much. It's a little bit on the edge. Someone has a terrible cough. Juliet? Among the bandages, I can see a packet of letters bound by twine. Hello, Bay. I mean, Doctor. Oh, no, that's you. Doctor. I, can't, I can't be both. Doctor! I'm sorry. I'm not a doctor. Pay, pay him no mind. He has been delivered delirious for some time. I'm Miss Mary Vingina. And this is my brother Matthew. <laughs> Juliet! <coughs> Why have you left me? Why you don't answer my letters? <coughs> my letters? You see, the poor man is so obsessed with his wife. He won't accept that she left him months ago. My poor Matthew. I'm very sorry, Miss VNJ. Now, Aino. <coughs> I hope he recovers. Thank you. I don't actually know what voice this guy's got. I've got like 20 voices for this You guy. keep changing. Where are you? Oh, peak paper. Magazine. Magazine. Titled Weird Tales. Who is this? What happened to you? Are you alright? There was an arrhythmic sound like a breathing. But when? Last night, I felt an increasing pressure on my temples. Something dry and rough, like tree bark brushing against my leg. I saw something on the wall, like a growling shadow. I lit the lamp, and there was nothing. Madame? Oh, it's a woman. It's <clears throat> kind of awkward. <laughs> oh, so many people in here. 
He is quite a pale young boy, and he is asleep. That might be because he's white. <laughs> oh, man! Man! Okay, cut that out.